welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a really long time since I shared any content on a regular basis, but hopefully now everything has settled down and I'll be able to share more, more frequently. Um, I did quit my full-time job, so I'm a full-time artist now, and <clears throat> that's, <laughs> that's really scary, exciting, and overwhelming. So there's been a lot of things that I've had to adjust to, um, like at home and just life in general. So hopefully I have more time now to spend um, giving you guys some great tutorials. What I'm going to paint to you, to what I'm, I'm not going to paint to you, I'm going to paint for you, uh, just a really simple candle. And I painted one of these yesterday and I really loved how it turned out. I hope that I can uh, do it again. <laughs> so we'll see. The surface that I'm going to paint on is basswood. I got this on Amazon. And uh, I've already prepped the surface with acrylic gesso and I put, I put uh, three layers on top of the wood and then I sanded it with this block in between each layer. I did go ahead and put some black acrylic paint around the edge and what else? That's all I've done to it so far besides sketching my candle on here. So now can start to paint. Let me get all this crap out of the way. Okay, um, first thing I want to do is cover this background with acrylic and um, then I'm going to do some burnt umber for uh, my values just to uh, get a nice contrast that's going to go underneath my oil paint. So the oil paint that I'm going to use is a uh, cad red, cad yellow, white, black. Oh, we are auto focusing here and we do not want that. Hold on. I can't stand that going in and out like that. That's this is very oh, so anyway, sorry, let me back up. This is for the flame. Okay, so cad red, cad yellow, white, and then the background will be black. And then for the candle, I'm also going to use the Cad Red, Indian Yellow, and Green. So the green will be added to the red to make the shadow color of the red, which will be the darker part down here. And then the Indian Yellow and Red and probably some white, maybe even a little bit of the Cad Yellow, I'll mix together to get like a bright orange color up top so it'll look like it's glowing. And like I said, I'm going to use some black acrylic paint to give this background one layer and that's just so that when I cover it with the black oil paint it's not so hard to cover directly over the white. I've already got some a black base there that I can work with. So let me find a brush. Uh, this is just an old worn down mop brush. It doesn't matter what kind of brush you use for this part. Uh, burnt Umber, also craft paint. This is just to give me some values underneath my oil paint. This part's really simple and quick. I don't need that brush anymore and I don't need that one. And I have this little cloth here to just wipe off extra paint. And I'm just going to decide where I want my shadows to be. Does not have to be perfect or fancy. 
I'm just kind of sketching with my paintbrush. I'm not even totally following the lines that I that I drew. I'm gonna dry that. I forgot this little part here because I wanted that to look like it was in the back. Now I want um, this lower part of the candle to be darker than the top. So now I'm gonna go over that with a layer while still going over top of the first layer I did. And that's just gonna make that first layer just a tiny bit darker than this layer. Plus I'm not using any more paint. This is just paint that I already had on my brush. Hopefully, that's enough. Nope, I forgot a piece. I already put my paintbrush in water, so... Ah, that's too much paint. I just wanted this little piece right there. Okay, now we can get started. Okay, before I paint this background, I'm going to start with this flame so that I can rest my hand on there. My cat has come by to say hello. Of course, just in time for me to get started painting. I'm going to use this little flat brush. This is from the Deco in, um, Fine Detail Set. Hopefully you can see that. It's just a, just a flat brush. And I'm going to start with the uh, uh, red and I'm going to do one little strip around the edge of the flame wipe off my brush And I'm going to grab the yellow. And with the yellow, I'm just going to go kind of right over top of that red. And then wipe off my brush again and grab some white and add it to the middle. So it's blending together with the colors that I've already got on the wood uh, and the paint that I've already got on my brush. I wiped off most of it, but it's still got some on there. I'm wiping off my brush in between adding each layer of white just so that I get more white. Now the color that's actually on here is not solid white. It's blending with that yellow and red. And I'm just going to keep adding white until I feel like it's bright enough. but I don't want solid white. Whoops. All right, I'll fix that in a second. Um, I guess that might be white enough. I might have to add a little more 
Uh, I'll be able to tell more once I add the black oil around it. So it'll give me like a really nice contrast. I'll be able to tell more at that time. Oh, and there's a hair. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now and see how that looks in a second. Okay, uh, next step is I'm gonna grab another clean brush. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's just a small, fine detail, uh, fine detail brush, but it's um, it's flat, just like the other one I used. And psst. hey, psst. quit scratching the door. Hey, psst. Mm. buddy, psst. quit. It. Okay, uh, back with the red. And I'm going to add the red outside of the flame on top of the black acrylic. off my brush same brush grab some yellow and I'm gonna do this let those two colors mix on the wood Now I'm going to grab a larger flat brush with my black. Start out here, like not directly on top of that, and then work my way into the red and yellow and just kind of blend that in. So outside of it and work my way in. That's going to give me that little glow around the flame. And if you want more of a glow, you can add more yellow, add more yellow. Make sure you kind of blend it out, but don't over blend it. It kind of looks like my candle is 3D, uh, or my flame, and I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I might have too much red right along the edge, so I'm going to take one of my brushes and just kind of blend that out so that it's not such a hard edge. I want it to look soft. I'm gonna glab, glab, glab another clean brush. This is just another little flat brush. And add some more white and go closer to that edge. Like this outer edge of the flame. And then back with my red brush. No, I'm not going to add any more paint. I'm just going to use what's already on there. 
and soften that part up a little bit. Um, there's like a black line right there that I don't really like. Like between the flame and the background. I don't want that. I'm going to try to cover that up. There we go. I'm already like overworking this and already overthinking it. And I shouldn't be. I'm going to leave it alone and stop overworking it. And now I'm just going to fill in the rest of the background with the black. My cat was scratching at the door so that I would open it. I opened it and he's like not even going in there. He doesn't even care. He just doesn't want the door to be closed. He wants options, I guess. He wants the option to go in there if he feels like going in there. The brand of oil that I'm using, by the way, is Windsor & Newton. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. Okay, moving on to the candle. Um, this has already got red on it, so I could probably just still use it. I'm going to mix up some colors for my candle. And for the candle, I'm going to use um, Indian yellow, a little bit of red make that nice orange at the top maybe a little bit of cad yellow too so it's really bright and maybe i will switch to a clean brush for the top part so i'm going to grab this orange and i'm going to put it at the top and that is really transparent And then I'm going to start to grab some more red with it. And just kind of blend those together. That may be too orange. I may have to adjust that. At the top, I mean. And then I'll just go ahead and cover down here with the red and then I'll go back in with the shadows.
I'm going to add <clears throat> a little bit of white to that color I made at the top just so that I don't see like my sketch lines underneath there and so that it's not super transparent Now for the uh, shadow color at the bottom, I'm going to take some red and a little tiny bit of green. I probably didn't even really need to mix that up, but I did, so. Oh, that's not dark enough, so a little more green. And you just come in the shadows here. Touch those up a little. It looks kind of rough right now, but once I do highlights and stuff, it'll be better. Just got to trust the process. I hear my dog snoring. She's snoring on the couch. She got her own little Thanksgiving Day plate yesterday. I gave her some turkey. <laughs> she was grateful. She's such a sweet puppy. Alright, let's do a little bit of highlights. I'm going to grab some red, some of that lighter orange. And start putting in some drippy things. Let's do a little bit of highlight. I'm just being real loose with my brush strokes. I need a new chair, guys. Really badly. But this one's been with me for so long, I hate to get rid of it. I'm like, I'm attached to it emotionally. It's really comfortable like even though it's in horrible shape it's literally falling apart like there's screws missing out of the left side the armrest on the left side is like not even really attached to the chair anymore it's just like barely hanging on but it's such a comfortable chair even like falling apart it's comfortable and I hate to hate to try to find another one because I'm afraid it won't be as comfortable <laughs> all right let me grab some more white for up top here so it's still like you can still see my sketch line and I don't like that I like it. Looks nice. I 
Now I'm going to go around and touch up the edges of the candle. Um, like I can still see some white right here. So with the black that I used, or and the paintbrush that I used to put the background on, I'm going to use that same brush and just like kind of blend the edges a little bit. Make sure I've got all that white covered up. Just soften everything up. Oops. Don't want it to look super perfect, but also not like I just missed a bunch of spots. The more I try to overthink, or the more I overthink candles, the worse they look. So just try not to overthink it. And yesterday I did these little drippy things, so I'm going to try that again today. I don't know if it'll work, but a little bit of red and orange. And I just did like, um, just push down with my brush once and then like that just like more pressure at the bottom and then less pressure as you move your brush up so push down hard less pressure and then drag up up <clears throat> that makes it kind of look like it's dripping well maybe not that one That's enough. I don't want to overdo it. Alright. Um, let's do the wick. And I believe we're done. So this is just a little tiny liner brush from the Fine Detail Set. It's a number three. And uh, I'm going to have to make it gray so that you can see it on the black. So black and white here. You can add a little bit of red to the top of the wick if you want. It's really even kind of hard to see that detail, but now your wick looks like it's burning a little. And that's it. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope, um, I hope this video helps, and I hope to see you again really soon. Happy holidays. If you liked today's video, give that like button a tap and please consider subscribing. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok where I upload content almost daily. Thank you for watching.